Oh boy, we're having a debate before we talk about this next story. <laughs> We're talking about mayflies because yeah. it's May mm -hmm. and we really start to see the changes in the temperature and the trees and the flowers. But then you're talking yeah, well, about June. I've, I've never understood why they were called mayflies because they always seem to come out in June, which is why they call them June bugs. I didn't know it was this one and the same. But the one other thing you may think is that when they are out, they can be pesky little critters. Here's our meteorologist Matt Willoughby getting to the bottom of it. As we get closer and closer to the summer months, more outdoor activities will start. But if one of those activities are along the lakeshore area or on Lake Erie, the next month, you might want to look out for those infamous mayflies. So they're called mayflies, but maybe we should call them June bugs because <laughs> I feel like they, you, you know, I mean, they might come out at the end of May um, in Lake Erie, but it's usually starts in June and might go through even through the early part of July. You may hear the popular saying that they only live for a day, but they actually live for a lot longer than that. So the mayfly lives is, is a larvae or a nymph underwater in Lake Erie for, for two years. So they live down there. Yeah, yeah they're like two-year-olds when they come out, you know. So they live in the, is, is this um, little larvae that lives on the bottom of the lake for two years. And then they they go through a, a metamorphosis. Almost, I mean, it's not exactly like a butterfly, but they really change, you know, and they come out with wings and they fly. But why do so many of them fall by the lakeshore areas of Lake Erie and not more inland? How many you see is going to depend on which direction the wind is blowing, literally which direction the wind is blowing. And that's kind of why they go in swarms, I think. You know, when they come out in a, you know, a location, the wind just kind of gathers them and moves them around. Even though the smell and the cleanup can be annoying, the critters are important for fish, especially walleye. Mayflies have always been a really important component of the food web. They are, they're pretty big for a bug, right? You know, so they're, they're a good food item. Like for yellow perch, yellow perch love them. Um, all fish really do love them. Perch eat them while, you know, especially smaller walleye will eat them. So they're an important part of the ecosystem. Mayor says when they do hatch, the best thing you can do is turn off any lights that you have outdoors or in parking lots. Lights are the number one thing that they are attracted to. Reporting in Toledo, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2All 11.